It is 18th of June, 1845. The sun is split in the trees and sadness is in the air in the O'Driscoll house. Sorry, Margaret, I have no choice, but I have to leave you. It's the only way to pay for the food on rent. Surely, John, we could sell some of our possessions. Think, Margaret, think. Do you really think that that would bring in enough money to keep us going? Please, please don't leave. How will we cope without you? Sorry, Margaret. Like I've said, I do not have a choice. Keep the children safe and well and take care of yourself. I'll be back as soon as I can. A few days later, baby Bridget falls ill with a fever. Michael, run up to Mary Kate's and see if she has any cures that would help poor Bridget. That night, after trying everything, baby Bridget suddenly passes away. She's gone. My poor little darling's gone. I want Bridget back. No, she is too weak to stay in this world for longer. Michael, run up to Don Collins to see if you can find Father Doyle. Michael returns with bad news. Father Doyle has got the fever and she must find the coffin maker has died. There will be no proper funeral. What would become of us? What are we going to do? We'll bury her in our own place. Under the hawthorn tree. That's where the children always played and its blossoms will shelter her. So they buried her under the hawthorn tree as they said their prayers. A few days later, Mum sets off to find Father to tell him the bad news about Bridget. She leaves Ali, Michael and Peggy with a heavy heart and promises to return. However, Tom Daly, the landlord's right-hand man, evicts them from their house as there are no adults to pay the rent. The children make an escape. They plan to run away to Castle Tiger to meet up with their great aunties, Nana and Lena. After three weeks, they finally made it to the place their mother had told them about. They searched for their grand aunts and eventually arrived at their old rundown shop. You poor starved creators, I've nothing for you here. Go up the town and you might get help there. Aunt Lena shouts for Nana. Nano tries to chase the children, but Lena assures her that they are her own flesh and blood. Auntie Lena, we are Margaret and John O'Driscoll's children. After a wash and some food, the children tell their sad story, but it was a story of courage, danger, adventure and survival. <laughs>